Hey guys, it's Lala and you're watching Lala Tarot. Today I'm coming on to um, show you guys a deck that recently entered my collection and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been enjoying it and I, I spent a couple of weeks working with it to just kind of see where it fits in, how I feel about it, and things like that. So I don't always come on and unbox things immediately. Sometimes I want to spend a little bit of time with it. And then if I feel like it's like video worthy and I really want to share it with you guys, then sometimes I'll jump back on and make a video. So this is one of those decks that, um, that I felt like was video worthy. And I hope people enjoy it just as much as I have. So um, the deck we're going to be looking at today is called the Dream Your Joy Oracle, and this is by Judy Mashangelo. So I'm not sure if you guys are already familiar with her work, but she does have a couple of previous decks that I really love, and we're going to talk about it in this video as well. And I'll kind of show you those in case you want to pick up both um, the Dream Your Joy Oracle or one of her previous decks as well. So I'll share those with you as well. But first, before I get started, I just want to say I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas, an amazing New Year and holiday season. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys so much. And here's to a great 2023. One thing to note about Lala Tarot on this channel is that this year, I plan to focus on less consumption. In fact, I'm getting rid of so much. Like <laughs> so I've spent the first two weeks of January literally just like going through my stuff, figuring out what I want to let go of, what I'm not ready to let go of yet, but plan to maybe do so this year and things like that. So less of the, the new decks, more of working with what I have. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys about my plans for the channel this year as well. So, um... Yeah, but let's go ahead and jump into this. I don't want to take too long because I have a lot to show you guys. And I also would love to kind of pull a few cards to show you how I work with these together at the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, um, stay tuned, stick around. It's going to be a great video. Get you a glass of lemonade or uh, coffee or whatever suits your fancy because we're going to jump in. All right. So the Dreamer Joy Oracle Cards, Judy Mashangelo, is really like a fairy tale deck. It's 59 cards. Um, it goes for $29.99 in the US. And you can get it a little bit cheaper. I think if you, let's say, buy it from Barnes and Noble and you get like a 10% off discount or something like that. Or if you have any sort of um, gift cards or anything for Amazon, maybe you can take a little bit off as well. But $29.99 plus tax. Okay. Now, this is going to be an honest review. Honest, honest, honest review. Um, this deck comes in this beautiful box that kind of looks like, like a book. Like if you were to put this on your bookshelf, that would be so beautiful. But mine had a little bit of, um, issues where it was starting to like rip and tear. So I actually put a little piece of tape on each side just to prevent it from further, um, tearing over time. And then I've been keeping my cards in this organza bag just to, again, prevent me from, damaging the box you know eating further so it does come with that box it does also come with this guidebook which is very very beautiful you get a picture of the card you get the name of the card um you get like a little small phrase and then it'll tell you about the card it'll go into detail about its meaning it gives you an exercise to try out as well as an affirmation so a lot of um, information that's just really 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 beautiful and what I like is that each each page is a little bit different you do get the affirmation the explanation but as you can see some cards have a date well it is still like an activity or exercise but this one says daydream and this one gives you another activity. So each card has a different activity, affirmation, and explanation for each and every single um, you know, page on this guidebook. And it's really beautiful. It is a total of 127 pages. And we do have the contents in the front. So it's very easy to find all 59 cards. Because one thing you're going to see in a moment is I don't think they are numbered. Okay. So you won't have the numberings but it is in alphabetical order, 
all right? And then you do have the contents in your guidebook. So it should be pretty fairly easy to find. So we're gonna look at this deck, but before we do, I wanna kinda refresh you guys on Judy Machangelo's previous work. So let's actually put this one to the side just for a second. And I just quickly wanna show you her previous deck. It's called the Inspirational Visions. If you guys have ever um, heard of this or saw this before, then you already know what it's about. But for those of you who haven't, I just wanna quickly recap you on this deck is the same as that concept as the dream your joy oracle cards in terms of the box the guidebook and the style of the artwork it's the same as that concept with a little bit of differences which we will see when i flip through the dream your joy oracle this one particularly has blue edging blue gilding that comes with the cards and it also has um these backs it is very fa fairy tale ish and it has just this really really like beautiful beautiful artwork um lots of fairies and lots of color and i like using these for like my inner child um sort of work when i want readings that are a little bit more cute and fluffy and happy this is one that i would like bring out when i want to work with like my fairies or my unicorns this is one that i would bring out i just think it's a lovely I think the artwork is so beautiful. Um, and so this is her previous and her first deck that she did. Um, I guess I shouldn't say that because she also has these other cards too that I wanted to show you. So this is some of her other works. And then we're going to get into the Oracle Dream Your, Joy, Dream Your Joy Oracle in this video as well. So, but that's one of her first decks. Um, and then some other decks that she has. And I'm just showing you guys this in case you want to pick any of these up with the Dream Your Joy Oracle and, you know, work with these in addition to that one. So this is another two that she has as well. And I put mine together to make like this mega deck that you're about to see. But this is the Joyful Inspirations cards and the Inspirational Wisdom cards. Also by uh, artwork by Judy Machangelo. These were written by Frances Monroe. So a little bit different um, in terms of the creator, but Judy Machangelo is also included in the workings and production of these two decks as well. So, but this is a mega deck that I put together, kind of chunky. I think you get like 70, like <laughs> close to 70 in each deck. So this is approximately 140 cards that I put together and it has the same sort of artwork and this cutesy cutesy really light fun playful happy sort of um you know sort of vibe so in case you want to pick any of these up just to go along with your dream your joy oracle which I do highly recommend <laughs> because they're so fun and they're so light um and sometimes we need that sometimes we really really do I like as I go along in my practice I'm really starting to find that I have moments when I want to work with those dark or shadow decks, but it's just during those moments. For the most part, I do prefer to work with um, gentler decks, plants, herbs, crystal decks, animal decks are things that I'm just naturally drawn to. Um, and then like the more shadowy decks, I think I'm going to really limit how many of those I purchase um, in the future. And those will only be for specific times when I feel like I need to do some shadow work. But for the most part, my goal this year is to kind of go through my collection and start to really get rid of a lot of those darker decks or things that kind of don't um, bring me into higher frequencies, if you will. Um, just by using them, it's a lot of blood or gore or violence or you know, things like that, like those harsher decks. I do not want to work with those as much um, this year. So those I will be sorting through and making some tough decisions about what goes and what stays because I want to limit that. Um, I like this deck because once again, it's just light, it's fun, it's positive. And that's kind of what I'm trying to surround myself with at this you know particular point in time. So I do recommend the Joyful Inspirations and the um, inspirational wisdom decks by Francis Monroe and Judy Mastrangelo. You also got a chance to take a quick peek at her inspirational visions. 
um, Oracle, which is very, very similar to the one that we're looking at today. So if you want to pick up any of those, I definitely do recommend it. And if I do have time today, I'll pull a couple of cards from each deck to kind of show you how they work together. Okay, so for now, let's go ahead and flip through the Dream Your Joy Oracle. I'm going to put it right here just so that you guys can kind of see what we're working with at the moment in case anybody wants to, you know, pick it up. And again, this is the bag that I'm keeping mine in for now because I wasn't very satisfied with the box. I did feel like, and not to say it's like a flimsy box because it's not flimsy. It was just um, a part of it that was torn. I just wanted to prevent any more wear and tear to it. So in case I decide to give it away in the future or sell it or whatever the case is, I just want the box to be in good condition. So um, these are the cards. Now, one of the differences between this deck and her previous production of the Inspirational Visions Oracle is that there's no gilding on the side. So, um, again, I sat with this deck for a couple of weeks and, you know, before making this video. And that was something that originally kind of bothered me because I was like, man, it would have been nice to have like rose gold gilding on the side or something to that effect because it's the same price as her first production and we're getting less in the sense um but i guess now that it's been a couple of weeks i'm able to kind of appreciate the fact that it's not gilded on the side um maybe at some point i will decide to go ahead and edge it in a specific color whether it's gold like a gold sharpie i can do that or whatever it is right now i haven't done that but i think that's kind of the direction that i'm planning on doing with this one in the future um but yeah, it's basically the same concept. You get all of these really beautiful cards, which I love this one. This is the very first card I pulled when I pulled um, from this deck. Flower Child, Drink in Nature's Beauty. And I just love this. If you love unicorns, this is going to be absolutely great and amazing. If you love fairies, this is going to be absolutely great and amazing. Also, if you like just like, you know, fairy tale stories, this one is really, really fun. I love that. And I think my plan is to use both of her decks together and then use the smaller ones that I showed you guys kind of like to recap the readings. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I love this. All the little ice cream and cakes and oh my God, how cute. So you have Breath of Love. Fairy of the Azalias, if I'm not saying that correctly. It says, being little can be a big thing. And as I showed you guys, you know, in the guidebook, it goes into greater detail about each card. So you're going to get a lot more information than this. So if you get a little bit confused about what is the meaning, if you get butterflies, winged spirits of transformation, and you're like, hmm, what does that mean? And how does it apply to all of the other cards that I just pulled? The guidebook is an, is an excellent resource to, you know, go more in depth on the meaning and definition of the card. So not to say that you have to heavily rely on the guidebook either, because I don't feel like you do. Um, I didn't. And sometimes what you'll find is that your definition of the card based on the other cards that you pull, it might be very different than what the guidebook says. So feel free to use your intuition, feel free to apply whatever messages that you want to, you know, apply to it and just kind of go from there. But this is one that I felt is really, really, really pretty. I'm enjoying it so very much. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cards. And I'm just going to flip through so that you guys can see. And then if this is something that you want to pick up then you certainly can. Okay. Feeling lost. I love these mushrooms. It just shows you how small they are in comparison to, you know, nature. So I love that. This, um, this copy, this is her like second, I guess you could say, oracle that I know of. And it's a little different than the first in a sense that the first is very much so full of fairy tales and this one has some things that are just a little bit 
different to me in some of the cards. Oh, I love this one. Home is where the heart is. Keep the love inside you glowing. How beautiful is that? And that's what I mean. Like, I will take this sort of picture any day over blood and gore and like <laughs> all of those other decks that are so harsh, you know. And I guess is there is like a time and place for that as well, which is fine. But I think on a regular basis, I just want something a little bit more softer. This is so beautiful. And this is what I mean. This is one of those cards that, is, that are really different from her first deck. This is not, you know, all fairy tales and unicorns. This is something very different. And I, I love that too. I think it's beautiful. You know, this is gorgeous. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I have. Um, I think my relationship with this one has kind of grown over the last two weeks from when I first got it. Um, and actually, I will say that I've noticed that recently with my decks. Um, I started spreading out how often I, I purchase them, I get them. A lot of decks I get are already on pre-order though, um, so I can't help it if it ends up coming out together. But I'm trying to spread out how often I get new decks. And what I'm noticing is that when I do get a new deck, it takes me a minute sometimes to really connect with it. Like I'll look through the cards the first day and then sometimes I'm like, mm, I don't know how I vibe with that. Mm, I don't know like how often I see myself using that. And then I'll keep on working with it. I'll keep on working with it. And I'll like my relationship grows with it over time. And I think that's that's what's going on with a lot of my decks I'm getting nowadays. It's not an immediate connection per se, per se. It's more so like, um, I don't know, I guess the relationship just grows. So, cloud babies, children and ideas waiting to be born. So like this would be an example of a car that you don't necessarily need to use the guidebook for. Like that's very easy to interpret, right? And to apply to your readings. So I think this is just beautiful. Light a candle. Let truth shine through the darkness. And then our last card here is eternal youth. Imagination and love keep you young in mind and body. And that's gorgeous. So we're going to pull a couple cards. I'm going to show you guys what, how I would be like working with these together. Um... And then some of the other decks that I would use with this, right? So if I bought this deck, I would need a tarot, right? For me. And so my tarot would be, I chose the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. And obviously you can choose whatever tarot you feel would be best. But I would like pair this deck to these. So this would be like my tarot. And let's just put this to the side for a second. And this pull like a couple of these cards and then we'll pull a couple of like oracles and then go from there and i'll show you how they look all together so let's pull a couple tarot for this purposes of like entertainment and then we will Say the sun card. Ooh, the nine of cups and the page of wands. This is wonderful. So this is something like exciting. This is something that you've asked for. This is something that's going to make you happy. It's like a dream that has literally come true for you. And so that would be like a really beautiful card, a really beautiful three card spread to pull. For some of you guys, I feel like there's going to be dream jobs, dream uh, passion projects. Some people might even be finding out that they are expecting a baby. I see that. I see good news on the way. And then if I were to pull another oracle or add another oracle to this spread, um, right now I'm using the Magic of Unicorns by Diane Cooper. So that would be like another deck that I feel would work very very well with this and let's just get one card 
Let's get one card. And I'm gonna just cut it and do it that way for time purposes. Oh, guys, shower of blessings. This is amazing. <laughs> Open yourself to receive and it says to pay it forward. Man, these are some great cards I'm pulling right now. So I don't know who this is for. Hopefully it's for me, honey. <laughs> but if this isn't, if whoever this is for, this is like amazing cards to get. You got the nine of cups. You have shower of blessings. Open yourself to receive. So there's definitely like wishes being fulfilled, gifts and magical blessings that are like just on the way here. Very good news. Like I said, I see a baby. I see someone like expecting, but I also just see like really, really, really good news. So another deck that I would use would be the Oracle of the Unicorns. So really heavy on the Unicorns, right? But you don't have to use the same cards as me. Let's say you wanna just use like, um, and I apologize if you guys can hear the ambulance that's coming and we want to send out good vibes to whomever they are providing help and assistance for sending out prayers. But um, you do not have to use the exact same tarot and oracle that I selected for this. You can use whichever one, again, suits your fancy. Maybe you have some other like really playful fairy ones or whatever, you know. This is just me pulling, you know, letting you guys know what I like to work with with this one. So let's get one more card. This card is called the Oracle of Unicorns and it is just amazing. I will never get rid of this deck, I don't think, because I love it. Okay. We've got Sanctuary. It says, take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate, or go on a retreat. How beautiful is that card? I feel like that's going to be good to kind of get some time to yourself, to kind of pull away a little bit and go within, you know, do some introspection. The Page of Wands to me also is about like discovery. So discovering what makes you happy, right? Discovering what your dreams are, discovering what your wishes are, what's going to be fulfilling to you. So this card for me would talk about it's necessary for me to take some time out from the world, spend some time by myself, um, just so that I can discover what it is that makes me happy, what makes me glow, and what truly fulfills me. All right. And then, of course... We'll go ahead and jump into our Judy Moschigello decks that we talked about in this video, the Dream Your Joy and the Inspirational Visions. And I'll let you guys see how those kind of pair with it. So I'm starting off here with the Inspirational Visions and just want to kind of pull me a card to kind of see what is, um, you know, our message. And it doesn't really matter, you know, like I said, any of these are just good, uplifting, positive cards to get. So we have where candy trees grow. It says lands of childhood live within us always throughout life. Oh my gosh, I just love cards that have like cupcakes and hot fudge and ice cream and oh my god that is just so amazing for me this card feels like childhood it feels like reflecting on like my childhood reflecting on things that made me happy memories that i have um my childhood memories that stick with me and stay with me always throughout my entire life some of you guys could actually be thinking about that like the sun represents children child right things that make you happy some of you guys are looking at old pictures i see that with the page of wands some of you guys might be looking at old pictures and kind of thinking back to happier times in your childhood and things that really made you happy things within your family or with your siblings i see that as well where candy trees grow. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and pull us a Dream Your Joy card. And again, this is just how I would use this deck. You are free to use it however you wish. I just want to share this with you in case you wanted to pick up like any sort of, um, any of these decks that I'm using today. All right, and then let's get one of our Dream Your Joy cards. I just want one, please. 
I just want one. Sometimes I'll shuffle this way. Sometimes I'll intuitively pull cards. It just depends on how I feel in the moment. There we go. Thank you. All right. So what we have is Parade of Life. Celebrate the joy of existence. I feel like for some of you guys, there might even be like a party. Also, I'm getting birthday energy. Um, I know my birthday is this month in January. I am Aquarius. Shout out to all Aquariuses and happy birthday to you guys. As well as my Capricorns, I cannot forget the copies because you guys' birthday is in January as well. So happy birthday to you guys. I am getting reasons to celebrate, right? Celebrating life. I'm getting parties. I'm getting parades. I'm getting all of that happiness and good vibes and just good, good feels. So definitely see that. So the last deck that I would use with this, like let's say I did this whole reading and of course it would be more involved and in depth than this, but for the purposes of this video and time, I am just kind of going through how I would use these and then I'll go ahead and dump in my joyful inspirations and my inspirational wisdom decks to kind of just cap things off a little bit more with some more happy vibes right so this is really positive though i will say there's shower showers of blessings nine of cups is here wishes being fulfilled parades of life reasons to celebrate right i'm getting childhood memories as well some people might want to just be alone with that sanctuary card. I'm getting there's a reason to go out. There's a reason to celebrate and enjoy life as well. But also to take some time at some point to go within to find out what makes you happy at this point in time. Okay, so the two cards that we got are things are looking up. So see, that's what I mean, how these just add like that little bonus message that you might need to hear for the moment. Like how great is it to get a positive card like this that lets you know that things are looking up. Whatever you try to do, you will find your own success and joy. Oh my gosh, how positive is that? That's that nine of cups, right? Whatever we try to do, we're going to find our own joy, our own success. It's wishes being fulfilled, positive things ahead of us. And then we also have a fairy voyage. As a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. So just an additional bonus little message just to let you know how much you matter, how much power you have, and how much purpose that you have. And I think that's what some people who are watching this video might be doing, taking a moment to themselves with that sanctuary to kind of go within um, and discover what it is that makes them happy. What is your life purpose? What fulfills you? And how can you be of purpose to the world? How can you bring and put back more joy into the world, right? And then also this reason to celebrate and all of these blessings coming in and positivity coming forward, things are looking up. So I think that would be my general takeaway from this spread if I were to pull all of these cards for myself in a reading. So I hope that that like resonated with someone, helped someone. If not, just for fun, you guys got to see how I would like use these decks together and just have a little bit of childlike fun um, <laughs> at certain times. So yeah, you guys have been watching a flip through of the Dream Your Joy Oracle Cards by Judy Mastrangelo. Um, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you plan on maybe picking up this deck, purchasing this deck for yourself, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any of her previous decks or other decks that I've used throughout this video, let me know below. I'd love to hear your comments. I really do appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.